Uh, there are a lot more things to be concerned about, but Republicans have just been making fools of themselves uh, the, over the past week, over this weekend, uh, pointing guns up into the sky. Again, this is not something uh, that a United States senator should do, not something that a member of the United States House should do. And they would have never done this until the last no. couple of years. Trumpism has so badly infected the Republican Party now that it truly has become a party of gestures. Instead of doing what Republicans did back when I was uh, there, uh, Republican senators would call the White House. They would call the Pentagon. If you're on the Armed Services Committee uh, or if you're on a, another committee, you would call generals and say, General, tell me what's happening. What's the best thing to do? The general say, well, listen, it sounds very easy. Shoot it down right now. That's probably not our best move, Congressman. That's probably not our best move, Senator. And here's why. And they would explain to members of Congress who actually wanted the answers from people that run the United States military and understand the intel threat better than anybody else. They would talk. These senators, these members of Congress would talk to generals and admirals and people running uh, even their own committees and they'd get answers instead of posing on Twitter with, with just useless, asinine gestures. Yeah. So, and again, that look, that look hurts the United States worldwide a hell of a lot more than having a balloon floating across the United States after the Pentagon has already scrambled signals so it can't get any information, and then, you know, take it down, get the payload, and figure out what exactly was in there. That, at the end of the day, becomes a much bigger win for the United States of America than China. And as Mark, uh, who was on earlier today, former CIA agent said, a uh, career CIA guy, as Baluna Puza winds down, it's noteworthy how utterly stupid many were acting on Twitter. Politicians posing with AR-15s pointed at the sky are just not serious people. Performative theater, deep-seated insecurities, I don't know, but frankly, it was embarrassing do better. And meanwhile, you have other Republicans once again hating on America, talking about America in decline when nobody across the world believes America nobody is in decline. Does. They yeah. understand the impact that having the 82nd Airborne uh, in, in Poland has. They understand the impact of having the 10th Mountain Division coming in. These legendary American forces coming in to Poland, working with NATO allies, standing shoulder to shoulder to, to protect freedom in, in Europe. And by the way, and to send a message to the Chinese that going into Taiwan is a fool's errand. They understand this, and yet they continue their empty gestures. Bad for them, bad for the political party, and bad for this country, a very bad look for this country. And talk about scrambling signals. The Republican Party used to be the party of strength, the party that was pro-USA, oh. pro-military. No I don't more. know who they are. Party of insurrectionists, violence. I don't know what, hating, hating the yeah. FBI, hating the U.S. military, constantly looking for some way to be reactive and reflexive instead of actually yeah. reflective on who we are. I mean, you have senior United States senators, Jonathan O'Meara, actually saying they wish that U.S. troops were more like Russian troops, that somehow U.S. troops aren't, quote, manly enough. My God. Uh, and and, and you, you also have, and you were there, uh, you, you have a Republican Party that's followed the lead of Donald Trump, who hate uh, the intelligence community. You asked the question on whether Trump believed Vladimir Putin or the U.S. intelligence community. Donald Trump said Vladimir Putin, an ex-KGB guy who considers the United States of America a sworn enemy. And Donald Trump doubled down on that. And you have Republicans doing the same thing, talking about defunding the FBI, trusting Vladimir Putin more than they trust the men and women who are professionals in the intel community. It really is a bizarre, bizarre turn. And now you have Republicans constantly talking about declinism, declinism, declinism. I guarantee you this. Again, the Chinese know we're not declining. 
They see what we're doing in the Philippines. They see what we're doing with Japan. They see what we're doing with Australia. They're seeing what we're doing across the Pacific. They see what we're doing in Central Europe. They see what we're doing in Poland. They see what we're doing with training in Ukraine, understanding that it's the United States and our allies that are making the difference. They don't think we're declining. So why do Republicans think the United States are de is, is declining militarily? Why do they always hate on our armed forces? It's this reflexive support of Donald Trump, uh, that he is still the dominant figure there. And they, people in the Republican Party, including senators, are willing to debase themselves to gather his support and to appeal to his fans. And their assessment of the Russian troops proven rather incorrect, as we have seen mm. how much the Russian forces have struggled uh, in Ukraine. And Donald Trump doubled down on his support of Putin just last year week, mm. five years later, almost, still supporting Putin over U.S. intelligence officials and doing so after Putin conducted this brutal invasion of Ukraine. And no Republicans criticized him then. They remained silent. They'd rather point their AR-15s to the sky Josh, and try to shoot down a balloon at 60,000 feet up. Senator from Ohio. There you go.